Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we had a problem with legendary prisoners. I mean, legendary prisoners are always an issue because they are legendary in how annoying they can be. However, um, it was mainly due to them being in the workshop and fighting and things like that. And it was just, yeah, they were causing too many, causing a ruckus and um, also killing people. So we wanted to stop that. Now, originally we have a super, we had a supermax area here, and this is where we would. Not entirely segregate them, but it means that the Supermax would go here, and they've actually got more sniper coverage. That's the original idea. It's not entirely worked out that way, so instead we're going to change it up. And now we're only going to use Legendary, uh, the Legendary assignment... Sorry, we're only going to use the Supermax designation, the assignment for Legendary prisons like Adam Lee. The rest will just be as standard high risk, and instead this... Uh, group here, these group cells here, will become graded cells for high risk. I think that's the e that's probably the most efficient and easiest way of sorting this out. And looks like um, James Conaghan is trying to run away and um, yeah, the sniper um, has uh, dealt with that one. Extremely volatile, that's why he kicked off. I'm doing a shakedown now, because I think it's worth it. Uh, if we go to our, our prisoners here, you can see that we actually don't have a lot of maximum security, and that's because I turned it off uh, quite a while ago. Totally intentionally, you understand. It was something I just didn't want on. Uh, I just I wanted to be able to move stuff around, and that's exactly what we're going to be able to do now. So if I go over to... Well, actually, I'll wait until next morning, but as soon as it's morning, I'm going to then change our prisoner designation. In fact, anyone that I can see... So this is Duncan Buckwell. Um, there looks like a tunnel being found there. Yes, it is. It's only one bit, though. Are they trying to run away? And it's another fire. The exact same place where we get the same fire. Okay, incoming call. Power surge cause a catastrophic explosion and it's burning. Which has actually killed an armed guard. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Right, okay, let's... Uh, okay, uh, fire engines, two of. That's something that... I can't ever remember seeing. We've had fires, but an explosion? Have we had that before? I don't know. But, I mean, it's not entirely... It's not exactly suboptimal, is it? Um, for what we're... <laughs> what we're doing. Killed in an explosion, yeah. So I'm going to max speed this out while the firefighters get close. It's currently spreading very quickly through here. And why on earth the warden is deciding to go down with the ship, I don't know. Okay, this is actually fairly catastrophic. Yeah, this is bad. Right, lock down. Uh, actually, bang up and lock down. Actually, I don't think they can work together. Right. Lockdown. Everybody on lockdown, not bang up, because that means we can't close the door. So the fire's getting put out. They're still fighting around here. Obviously no water. Uh, sorry, no power. There's all the fire put out. We'll get rid of those. And now it's a case of... Good grief. Benjamin Wolven. Confidential informant. Just been taken out. Let's turn the, take the bang up off. And we need to get... This area up and running, but I can't place it because I don't oh, I don't have any funds. This is all kinds of bad. They're all fighting because obviously no power taking the opportunity to start running away. Yeah, bang up. Just keep them all banged up. Um, waiting for cash flow then to really resolve this issue. The workers will fix what they can. Simon Miller. What? Simon Miller? Video game, actually, previously a video game. I don't think he's worked there for a long time now. Um, the Miller Report. <laughs> that was great, that thing. Um, yeah, he's now been taken out probably by a sniper. So, as you can see, 100% damaged. Um, they will repair it if they've got cash, which they do not. So, the only way to get that cash, as far as I can tell quickly, is to sell object and do that. 
and there's all of the stuff in there sold. Uh, that will be enough, hopefully, for them to repair all this. Yeah, there's six grand on repairing a loan. I'm going to have to take a loan out. So we'll go over to... I mean, we could actually sell... No, we can't sell because there's been some deaths there. Um, so grants and increase bank loan. Up to... 250. But the problem is this exploded. So there's no... There's no, um, nothing to repair. It just blew up. That was really catastrophic, that one. It really was. Danger level is at the maximum. This is, this is in danger of rioting. Um, and there's no power to cook food. I could move them over here. But I don't know whether we're going to do that or not. I'm going to go back to sell object here. I'm just going to sell everything that's on all of these tables. Um, the question is, is there anything to export that can be sold? I don't think there is. Right, that's about it. Okay. So, again, more repair. But, I mean, look at the walls. That's just, That is fiercely bad. Danger level going down. There's a lot of security here around now. That guard's pissed off because he was hit by an explosion, which I can totally understand. I'm, I'm empathetic with the situation. <laughs> totally empathise about with that one. I'd probably be quite vexed too. So, we still need more money to get the that up and running, and I don't really think there's anything I can do about that. I've taken out the maximum loan possible. I can't sell any of the prison or so any of the... Oh my good grief. Hygiene's maxed out because there's no water for the showers. And the food's going up. Right, okay. I'll have to... I'm going to turn the bang up off. So they can at least go out. And get on with what they need to do. I'm going to change this to free time. There we go. Instead of bang up. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if the, if you're going to come through somewhere, you might as well come through the most efficient way, which happens to be where the explosion area is. Um, again, there's some more fighting around here. Oh, there's been loads of deaths. They just all are kicking off, and I can sort of understand it. Look at all the people in there. Who would have thought one explosion in a prison could have caused so much? Oh, actually, wait, it makes total sense, doesn't it? It's just the damage control now. Um, this is of pr this is a problem here because people can just get straight out, and I can't even afford to fix the wall. I need two bits of wall, and I need them pronto. I really just need someone to be released. I just need someone to be released. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to deployment, armed patrols, and we're going to set an armed patrol, um, two armed patrols in fact, around here. Because if any of them try and escape through that wall, we'll hopefully be ready for them. <laughs> So, danger level down to medium. It is me thinking it was going to be a simple episode of sorting this out. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Uh, what's the quote? God laughs when people make plans. I think, yeah, look, I think that guy was running for this exit. They're all, they're, yeah, they're all doing it. Yes, they're all going for the escape. See that? They're all trying to run, from, run to here. That's what it is. As soon as they come in here for the for eat, they try to run over there. Yep, they say that the escape attempt. I mean, they're seeing an opportunity and they're gonna go for it. It's they're not they're not gonna make it. That prison's been prisoner's been released, which is good. Um, they're not gonna make it. This brick wall needs to be made first. Come on, three grand, three grand, three grand. Please not minus six. Don't reoffend. Don't reoffend. Has he just been released? Not paroled. I think he's just been released. Not paroled early. Darn it. So, currently sleep time. Yes! Wall! <laughs> oh, I got that in time quick. Uh, 
Got that uh, just in time. I think. There we go. There's the walls. It's quite an efficient way of moving around. Yeah, we're minus six grand. Why we're minus six grand for the repair? I think we are. Okay. So. That's now... What is that all about? Oh, insecure. Yes, okay. Well, we're aware of that. So, we can now remove these patrols. The armed patrols. We don't need that anymore. Thank you for your service there. Protected that. There's still ones trying to run out and escape. I don't know what the solution is. No recent deaths. I think it's within 24 hours or something. To sell shares. The worst thing is, if I if I actually intake loads of high risk prisoners, it might help me out. But that's a very, very, very short term solution. Um, Hammer and Sickle Fraser, you are now um, in maximum security. As I said, this area here was is going to be solely for Supermax. Hang on. Speaking of Supermax. Where's Lee? Was he got during all of that? I think he might have been. In the chaos. Yeah, I think so. Unless we can't see him, which is a possibility. Oh, there's more fighting over here. Well, to be honest, the two pissed off snipers will probably deal with it. They're still fighting here, you can hear them. I've got bigger fish to fry, quite honestly. <laughs> than worrying about what they're doing in here. Dealt with. Not in a not in a fantastic manner, but in a somewhat slapdash one. So we're going to receive two and a half grand from some normal security prisoners turning up. And the thing is, all the capacitors are still damaged. Can't increase our loan. What we're going to have to do then is... This is not going to work, but it's going to have to be... Some, something's going to have to be done... Remove all of that. That canteen. Because they're going to have to go to that one. So all of the prisoners now in the in the facility are going to go here. Because this didn't explode. Which is why it's always good to have separate water and power. So no way. Why is there only two cooks in here? We've got 20. Why are the majority going over there? Oh, I've got some more now. Not all of the prisoners are getting fed, but at least m at least there's some food going there, going around there. So no recent deaths is what we're aiming for. So we're on work-free time. Not that they can work. So well. They can't use laundry. They can use the cleaning cupboard, though. There's some exports. There's some early release. But that's just going to be some repairs. Minus six grand a day. Not entirely accurate. Okay. Some workers are gone. Um... I'd like to start paring down some of this here, but I don't know if it's possible. Because all the guards are getting... All the guards are doing their own thing. So, what can I do to remove, fix the problem? I think this is just a time issue, quite frankly. We just need time to fix this. Okay, so... 
that's what's going to have to be done, I guess. Um, one of the spiritual leaders bring... Oh, great. Great. My issues. Just what we need. Fantastic. So, one of the spiritual leaders we bring into our religious programs has been rallying up the inmates with all kinds of hateful speech. Uh, they've been fired, but the prisoner will take some time to cool down. Oh, look. More problems to deal with. Right. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. And that couldn't have come at the worst time. That explosion has crippled the prison. Um, obviously, the, the cost in repairing that has crippled us financially. Because we, can't re we don't have the money to power this thing back up, but then we've got food needs. And then on top of that, we've just got a radical preacher um, calling for everybody to rise up in the, in the facility, which is just not what we want. Um, yeah, I can't imagine it being much worse. We didn't get a riot. We haven't had a riot, which is a good thing. Um, in terms of informants, we have had some more people in here. Um, I'm going to activate a couple of informants here. See, the coverage is a lot less. <laughs> some potential CIs, I think. Yeah. Um, recruit informant, here we go. Yeah. So, it's just going to take time to fix this. And deaths today. Bought flower. All the potential CIs as well, like the fearless ones and stuff. Well, it makes sense because you only get CIs when they go to solitary. That's the only way you get them. So danger level is still going up, as you can see. And that'll be just food needs and such. Um, food, family, everything. Yeah, it, it's just no power is not good. At least the food need is being fulfilled. Moving them over to there is far from ideal. But it is working in some way. But the family one isn't, and the other one isn't. And we've still got all this to repair. It looks like most of the capacitors are fixed now. Just a couple of capacitors to fix. And a couple of other bits as well. Okay, we're going to leave it there because, quite frankly, it's just a waiting game. Um, I mean, as you can see, we're spending all the money on repair. And it doesn't help that there's all stuff around here as well. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to skip ahead until I've got power here. And then once I've got power, at least that solves a lot of the issues. And then we can get back on track, which is um, finalizing... Why could, Why is there not water there? There we go. Is finalizing everything around here and then changing this. which Because this is going to be a graded high risk. And then I'll have to change everything back over double check, do shakedowns, get the prison back on track. So, that's going to be next episode. <sighs> Eventful to say the least. Right. <laughs> Hope you have been entertained somewhat by the uh, recent events in the facility. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. Good grief.